What I'm going to show you today is how to replace the battery inside of a Spectre cartridge. Um, this is going to be useful for those of you who are still trying to shoot uh, 600 type film inside or I-type film inside of your um, spent Spectre cartridges. So as long as you hold on to some of the plastic keys um, and you don't break those, and you should keep several because you might break them at a certain point, um, or at least learn how to tape them up properly, um, then um, you're going to be good to go if you've got all this stuff. So what do you have here? We've got obviously the two Spectre cartridges. Um, the difference here is this one still has the spring and the battery in there, the OG battery. This one is from a previous video where I've put the foam and um, side note, the foam is really helpful to hold in the 600 frames and keep them from sliding. Uh, I don't remember if I mentioned that in the, mentioned that in the, in the other video, but um, as some of you know, um, if you hand load into a new cartridge, whatever you're hand loading or reloading in the Polaroid world, you're going to run the risk of some moisture getting trapped in there. Or even if you didn't get moisture in there, for some reason, every now and then it's going to want to shoot two to three frames through the rollers at a time. So I found that this grippy foam helps hold the frames in place. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, but, you know, it still happens every now and then, but not as often as it did before when I was just, you know, I, I forgot what I was using before to block it in. I actually don't think I was using something to block it in at some point until, until I started using this foam. And we have a battery off of an older um, 600 cartridge and the spring off of a 600 cartridge that you're going to want to also use because you'll no, long, no longer be able to use that one if you do this method. You also need a pencil and an X-Acto knife. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is pick up your older Spectre cartridge, or at least the, the one that you're going to try to get ready to reuse. Um, and then you should know the drill by now. You got to carefully pop it open without breaking it. I failed on this side. I'm still okay there. Okay, that side lives to fight another day. You're gonna take that out, recycle it or whatever you wanna do. Um, and then this you could hold on to for when your other one bites the dust. Um, that one already did, if you notice, completely ripped apart. I'm just using it for demo purposes. So as you can see, this is the Spectre battery. Uh, very similar. Let's bring back the uh, 600 battery. Very similar when you look at them this way, but you can already, already see there's some, aside from the notches, there's a little side difference there. And, and I line them up this way so that you can start seeing where you're going to cut. Um, before I would make the mistake of wanting it to cut up the top and the sides, um, when I realized, no, I just, I got to cut the sides up there and then the entire bottom down here, just so the, the terminals can be almost not perfectly but almost about the same spot where the originals are um, otherwise you're going to be cutting it close um, and i don't know if that's a problem i haven't really tested that it's just an observation that i made in cutting these up um, so safety warning don't risk touching them that'll cause a fire or explosion or danger to you um, let's flip them around let's see what we've got here so we know that the terminals are going to be like so. So we're going to want to align it at the top there. Let's check the check check. And then get your pencil or chalk. Chalk is probably better white white marking tool of some type. I've just got this old funky pencil been hanging out in the shop for years probably more than a decade by now um, and then now we're gonna want to cut that long edge over here on this side or mark it sorry all right then you shuffle them around and you try to remember which is which and Obviously, this one is the, the Spectre one. Great. So now that we've chopped up that battery, we can put the 
inspector battery to the side and start loading our freshly retrofitted 600 battery. So you're gonna want to slide that in there and you'll see there's some notches in there that, oh, there you go, that's a good reflection there. Same on the other side, you could see it underneath the foamy. This foam is stuck to the wall, so there is a gap underneath, so you are gonna want to make sure that you do that as well, leave some gap underneath for the battery to slide through. Um, you only need the foam near the top anyway, because of the thickness of the spring. And always remember to put that notch towards the bottom, because if you do it this side, then the pick arm will grab on there and ruin your camera. So, oh, that's the wrong one. Come on. Now. Well, that one has that too, see, that little ramp. So it won't catch the pick arm. And yeah, once you have that in there, then you just, you know, in your dark bag, you'll load. You know, I still do the full, the full sandwich method, except I make sure not to put my big thumb on it like I did the last time. And you just hold it from the side and do it, you know, slide it in there. Um, I like that better because it feels like that keeps your moisture from making the frame stick to each other. Um, but otherwise you should use some sort of glove and make sure the conditions are cool and you're not creating a lot of condensation with your heat inside of the dark bag. All that fun stuff. Um, but a lot of you have probably experimented and experienced all that by now. There it is. Keep shooting those spectras. Talk to you later.